then what's after that, Mike? What's on December 4th? December 4th is the Christmas Spirits yeah, event. Yeah. So that's going to be the cumulative event to all the training that we're going through now. Yeah, really. And I am the training, the rigorous training stoked. that we're going through. Yeah. Absolutely. We're, we're preparing a lot for this. So like we said, and we can talk about this now. So again, like we said in the Wednesday's interview. So you give us permission to talk about it now? Yeah, dude. Okay, cool. Do you not want to? No, we can. Are you it's sure? just funny that you always say. Do you want to give say, me permission? Yeah. I give dude. you permission to talk about Christmas Perfect. spirits. You know what? Now I don't want to talk about Christmas spirits. <laughs> Do something else. <laughs> Uh, so Christmas Spirits is December 4th, 2019. We discussed this um, last, last week. Yeah, last yep. episode. And really want to highlight us going to this event and how cool of an event this is going to be. So it's December 4th and it is $20 pre-sale ticket, $25 at the door, and a $35 for a VIP ticket. And the VIP comes with, uh, I believe there's food there. There's some extra tastings. It's just going to be a sweet, sweet event. I actually um, got it on my phone, so keep yeah, talking. Yeah, I'll pull, pull it, up. it up. So it's at 500 Pearl. It's at the Forbes Theater there. Like Mike said, we're going to meet with the woman who's been organizing it for us to drink. Uh, Mike, drink. Yeah, I gotcha. For us to really finalize our details. And you can find the tickets at com backslash this hyphen is hyphen buffalo backslash Christmas hyphen spirits. And that is going to be where you can find not only the tickets, but also what each ticket level entails. That's fine. Um, I'm pretty sure it includes food for VIP or hors d'oeuvres or something like that. That fancy French word. Uh, hors d'oeuvres. Yeah, hors, hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so at this event, there's going to be distilleries, wineries, and breweries. We're going to do like a little pass back and forth because you got the wineries. And... Yeah, I'll touch on the wineries. So for distilleries, we have Hartman's going. Empire Merchants North, Lock House, Three Chord Bourbon, Patrick's Rooftop, Tommy Rotter, Black Button, and Iron Smoke. And those are the confirmed ones that will be going. There is some more in the works. The deadline's tomorrow, Friday, November 9th or 8th or whatever tomorrow is, 8th. So there still could be more, but those are the ones that have confirmed with us. And we will be there doing the podcast, and we're going to have an interview with whoever wants to attend so we'll as have, many people as yeah we can. we'll have the table set up with the three microphones again we touched on this last time but i'm just so amped about this event that i can't even contain it so we're gonna have the three microphones set up and the heads of whatever uh, distilleries and companies are there can just come over say a few things try to market their product help help them help us and it's just going to be a great time uh you want to touch on the wineries yeah so there's going to be oak ridge queen city and Spring Lakes that are confirmed so far. Okay. And I'm a wine guy too, so I'm actually really excited for that. Yeah. And then from a brewery standpoint, there is Southern Tier Brewing or Brewery. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> Mac, Mac Jack. Is that right? Mac Jack. Resurgence, Great Lakes, Hamburg, and Ellicottville. So really the big players in the Buffalo area. Yep. And I'm a big beer fan. You're a big beer fan. Everyone's a big beer fan. I don't know many people that aren't big beer fans. Right. There's a few, but those are some awesome breweries that are going, some amazing distilleries, and some cool wineries, too. So it's going to be a huge event. Go get your tickets right now and come hang with us because it's going to be a fun time. Sure is. And then you can try some of the whiskeys that we've been tasting. Screwball won't be there, but uh, the other ones will be there. So um, like I said, the, the Tommy Rotter will be there. The We tried the American whiskey, and they have a couple others. I'm not sure what they're actually bringing, but they're working on right now a – bottled and bond gin i think so not a whiskey it's a gin but it wow. sounds awesome yeah and then black button will be there black button has a disgusting amount of products dude they have such a lineup it's just dis- it's like, insane it is because when you go on their website you're like oh what do i want to try and they're like okay what bourbon whiskey do you want and then they have six options right. like you want a cream we have that do you want this we have that and it's like dude how many things can i it's almost overwhelming it is and we've tried the two of them so far, and both of them have been, like, our number one and number two product, Yeah, basically. they're really good. They're fantastic. They're a great distillery, and they're going to have their products there, too, which definitely try. And then Iron Smoke, Tommy Burnett, our, our guy. Yeah, he, uh, oh boy. His uh, company will be there, too. I don't know if he will be personally, but his company will be there, and hopefully they bring some of that casket strength because that stuff was hot, too. Yeah, it was. I'm pretty sure that in the bottle was 120. Yeah, it was mistaken. it was the second hottest we've ever had yeah. 
Uh, the first hottest wasn't even on the market yet. Right. So technically, Iron Smoke was the hottest. Which we still got to go down. Yeah. And we're still trying to work with a couple other distilleries, trying to get them to come, because this is just going to be an awesome event. And the, the amount of opportunities this is going to present for not only the distilleries, and not only us, but also the Buffalo whiskey market, and people who want to branch out and try some whiskeys, it's just going to be amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. 